All right, good morning. Welcome to our first day of women's Bible study at Tri-Village. Ladies, I'm so excited that we are starting this together. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Melissa and I am our Community Life Associate Director here at Tri-Village and I have been part of the planning for this study and as we start this morning, I just wanted to send you a message of welcome, share a little bit about the study, about what you can expect and um, just a little bit of my heart behind what we're doing, okay? So, um, you know what, I left my study <laughs> upstairs so I don't have it in front of me, but here's just a little bit um, of what you can expect. So, you should have your books already. Um, it officially starts today and each week we will be going through five days of homework together. Um, actually, I hate the word homework, but home study. You'll have five guided days of study. You can do them in um, just five days of the work week. You can do them however you want. Just I recommend you don't save them to the very end and try and cram them all through. Um, but instead just let yourself receive throughout the week as you're going through it. So um, there'll be five days where you'll be able to dive in at home and then you'll come together. Our, uh, our Thursday morning ladies are already together right now. Um, Wednesday night, look forward to seeing you next week. So you'll come together, like some of you already are, and you'll have a teaching video. Now this is something that we are doing across our Wheaton Bible Church campuses. So our teaching team, um, I am part of that, and there's uh, three other ladies who you will hear from throughout the semester as we just walk through this um, study of seeking the kingdom together. So um, you will hear that, and then you will, with your small group, um, talk about the homework, you will talk about the lesson, and you will pray together. Um, we say this often, but we believe that our faith grows in community. And so um, my hope for you and for your groups this year is that you will grow deeper into discipleship, into understanding what it means to live as citizens of the kingdom of God together. Um, so this is a Bible study where we are learning a lot about our faith. Um, but we, our hope and our prayer is that it is not just our minds, not just our information that we are gathering, but together we will be praying and growing, um, in our faith and that our hearts and our lives are being transformed by it. So, um, the book of Matthew is something that, um, we are so excited to dive into, uh, this summer with our women's group, um, we concluded by studying the Lord's Prayer um, in Matthew. And a lot of you are familiar with it. Um, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And the book of Matthew talks a lot about the kingdom of God. Um, Matthew actually was a tax collector, which um, he was Jewish, but he found a way to live, to thrive in an enemy empire, in a different kingdom. And then Jesus asked him to follow and he left all of it. And to our eyes and to outside eyes, we would say he gave up everything. Um, and Matthew spends his book trying to explain how he actually gained everything by being part of this new kingdom. And um, being part of the kingdom of God means our allegiance shifts. We turn our hearts to Jesus. And so this study is going to take us through understanding um, why. Why would we do this? Who is this king that we are following? And what does this kingdom look like? Uh, when Matthew was writing, uh, it was after Jesus' death, um, and 
several years after and the church was starting to the early believers or they weren't really even a unified church yet were starting to face persecution and Matthew was writing to form an identity of of people to show um, who we are in Christ that goes beyond our ethnic identities goes beyond our local identities goes beyond um, anything but our identity in Christ so I'm really excited for us to dive into this study um, if you are new to Bible study or even if you're not there's a lot that we will be going through every day um, we will have a couple weeks where you can kind of catch up so don't get too worried about if you're falling behind um, the end of each day has application questions we really really do your best to get to those um, even if you have to skip around to get there it's okay if you don't finish everything it's okay if you don't know the right answers to everything um, we're all walking this together your your teachers your leaders the other women in your group we are all um, on this road to life together and learning and studying and growing together and so some of these questions you're gonna want to know the right answer um, and it's just something that we are gonna ask that the Lord will continue to give us answers that we are gonna talk with our fellow group members um, and hear what they have learned and it's okay it's okay if you come to study and you're not sure what the answer is that you wrote down okay um, I'm gonna read for us Matthew chapter 7 verses 7 through 12 um, it says keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for keep on seeking and you will find keep on knocking and the door will be open to you for everyone who asks receives everyone who seeks finds and everyone who knocks the door will be opened your parents if your children ask for a loaf of bread do you give them a stone instead or if they ask for a fish, do you give them a snake? Of course not. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give good gifts to those who ask him? I'm so excited for us this fall. And my prayer is just that we fall in love with the king, that we, are able to approach expectantly that um, we as women would ask. Keep asking. Ask your questions as you are studying. Ask that the Holy Spirit would inform you as you are reading. Seek, seek persistently. Don't give up. October's gonna come around. November's gonna come around uh, as we head into <laughs> I don't want to get ahead of us but we're going to be heading into the holiday season together and it's going to be hard to persevere but continue to seek seek the lord um, and knock knock expectantly as one who is welcome at the door um, and knows it'll be answered so that is my prayer for us i am just so excited to see what the lord is going to do in and through the women of our community um, look forward to meeting with y'all, hearing from you, and I'm praying for you each day.